today's video, we're going to be doing some organization for the new year. These are a few things that I actually do almost every January, and I didn't realize that I had this sort of yearly routine or ritual, if you will, until I completed all of these tasks. So I did film these over the last couple of weeks. I didn't do them all in one day or anything like that. I sort of just did them whenever I felt like it, but these are a few things that I tend to do right at the beginning of the year that just make me feel more organized and like I'm starting off the new year on the right foot. So let's get into it. One of the first things that I love to do in the new year is take down my Christmas tree and put away all of my decorations. It just makes me feel like I've organized and wrapped up the previous year and then I can get rid of my tree and bring in my other plants and get my apartment styled up. I'm also watching some YouTube videos while I do this. So let's get in and tear down my Christmas tree. be healthy like look how much fluff is on me from this tree I don't know I can't be a healthy breathing all of that in I should have put a face mask on while I did this because I did put a face mask on when I put the tree up because it just literally goes everywhere so I'm gonna have to vacuum up and I know I just said this is probably not good for you but with that if there is anyone in Melbourne who would like this Christmas tree and some of these decorations let me know it is yours as long as you can come and pick it up from me then you can have it but uh, yeah I am gonna go and get the vacuum and finish tidying this up These are all of my ornaments. These glass ones though, uh, my mom has asked me for them so I'm going to give them to her. And then these ones can go with my Christmas tree. So if you're someone who needs a Christmas tree and a whole lot of ornaments, then these will be yours. Ornaments are packed up, floor is vacuumed. Now all I have to do is bring in my big palm. One of the first things I like to do in the new year is organize, clean up, and set up my desk space. And I did take my big desktop computer home over Christmas, and I did used to have a little basil plant here that uh, didn't survive me being away. So I do want to clean this up. I have a lot of random books up here. I just have a lot of different things going on, and I just need to tidy it up and set myself up a really nice workspace for the new year. This is what I have done to my desk. So I decided to switch my little drawers over to this side and the top drawer is full of stationery. I haven't organized it or anything because I barely ever actually go into it. In the bottom drawer, it's like electronic stuff, you know, headphones, memory cards, external hard drives, all of that. The decor is the same on top. I have my little clock. I have these Kiki K tabs. I have a coaster for drinks and things, my little pencil holder, pencil case, and then over this side I've kind of created a little bit of like a packing station for my planners. So I have like my thank you card, stickers, I have some twine if I need it, some stamps, and then up here on the wall I have my little Kiki K wall calendar. I don't have a hook for it so I have just blue tacked it to the wall and then used a paper clip to fold the page up but I might get like a 3M hook for it but it's just a nice little calendar that I can see the month and like what's going on and then looking at my notebooks I have so many I've just gone through these these ones are going to be archived they're my old ones all of my notebooks from before 2020 were like dealt with and thrown out last year so this is just from basically 2020 and these are all my current notebooks so I have my planner my journal my notebook this is a fun sort of health tracking one that I thought I would try from Kiki K I have my daily planner and then this um, visual diary is for like the inventory 
ideas and stuff that I'm doing for work. And then under that, I have some tissue paper to wrap some orders in. I'm actually just waiting on a new order of tissue paper. It's like a beautiful, like khaki green color that's coming in tomorrow. But until then, I've just got this much brighter green. But yeah, I can't wait to get the new green because I think it's going to be a lot softer than this bright one. But that's my new sort of desk setup for 2021. And I think when I need to sit down and do any work on my computer, I can always just fold the tissue paper back and out of the way. But it also makes it easy for me to pack orders because I don't want to have to keep setting myself up every single day to pack. It just means I can come in and start working on it. A lot of books that were archived are going to go into a cupboard and then all of the newer books that were here I decided to push all of this down just a little bit and it's kind of nice it's out of the way but it's a nice place to store them all and I have like easy access to grab all of my planners and journals so I really like that because I don't think it's too noticeable that they're there on my desk but yeah so that's my my desk setup so that I can you know half work because to be honest I do actually do quite a bit of work from my couch but um, it's nice that I have a clean space now to do any work from the desk and then also a place that I can just come in and comfortably pack all of my planners and ship them out. So yeah, that's one of the things ticked off my list for the new year is getting my desk space all organized. I'm wondering if I should add some more decor and stuff to the walls just to make it look cute because I really quite like this calendar up in this corner. I think it makes it look really nice and very organized. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform where you can create websites, blogs, and e-commerce stores. And it is the platform that I have used to create my website. I I originally started with a blog, but I now have an e-commerce store. You could create a portfolio to display some of your work, or maybe you're a small business and you need a website. If you're someone who is looking at setting up an online store like I recently have, then you will love Squarespace's e-commerce capabilities. And they also now have new third-party tools that you can connect to help you manage things like your inventory, promoting products, shipping, and bookkeeping as well. So it's much easier to keep track of everything all in the one place. If you are interested in starting a website, then head to squarespace.com and start a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, you can click the link in the description or use my code to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This is technically my first shop of the new year, but I did one on the 31st, so I didn't need to get as much today because I still have some stuff from last week, but I got some baby spinach, this Vienna sourdough, I think it's really delicious, some smoked salmon. I treated myself to some lunch, so I've got some uh, salmon sashimi and then these uh, rice paper rolls from Rolled. And then I have three kiwi fruits, three peaches, three apples, an avocado, some blackberries, some strawberries, treating myself to a Coke Zero. Also some toothpaste because I need that, cream cheese, ham, potatoes, and some feta. My fridge is pretty full at the moment, which is great. It means I'm gonna eat out less if I've got food at home. In the top, I've got some eggs, the salmon, the ham. I have some lamb from the other day. I have some vegetables at the back, like spring onions and lettuce from the other day. A cu um, not a cucumber, yes, actually there's a cucumber and a zucchini. Then I have all my fruit here. And then I have my tomatoes, avocado, blackberries, strawberries, and then also some strawberries from the other day my lettuce, potato, my cheeses, and then some little cherry aroma tomatoes down there as well. Another thing that I like to do is tick something off my list that I've been trying to do for ages, which is reorganize my cupboard and also clean out my fridge. The day that I got back from being away for Christmas, I did wash this shelf, but I want to take out the drawer at the bottom and the shelves in the door as well and start washing those. That is so much better. I've been meaning to do this for months, so I'm glad I can tick that off my list. And then I can also move some of this fruit and veg down into the crisper at the bottom. 
onto the pantry. It's actually not that messy. I just have a few boxes and things down the back in there that I should probably sort through and tidy up a little bit. Fridge and pantry is done. It's so much better in here. I have changed things around just a little bit. Like that has a loaf of bread in it and not cereal. And then this one actually has cereal in it and it's meant to be a snack. I guess I could switch those around, but I will leave a link to the labels that I have in the description. But now there's really nothing down in the back and behind. And it's, so it's all neat and organized. Those are a few things that I like to do at the beginning of the year. These are things that I actually kind of uh, plan out as well. I think about them in December rather than just doing them spontaneously in January. There are probably a few other things that I tend to do at the beginning of the year, but those are like the four main ones that I, like I said, think about uh, beforehand and go into the new year knowing that they are at the top of my to-do list. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have started to tick off some of your January or new year uh, organizational tasks that you always have on your list. And up the top here, you can check out my last video. Down the bottom, I will leave a link to another one of my videos and I will see you in the next one.